When Donald Trump really endorses someone, he goes big. You've seen none of that for lying Matt Gates. What does Trump know? Is Gates the informant? Gates hired Jeffrey Epstein's attorney. Another Epstein attorney approved the raid on Trump's house. Remember, Gates pressured Trump to give him a pardon, but Trump said no. Matt Gates puts himself first, ahead of Trump and ahead of you. Vote for a leader who will put America first. Vote for Marine Mark Lombardo. What's up, everybody? Major Retire Richard Ojeda here, and we are finding out just now how perverted the world of Republican politics truly is. And the revelations are more frightening than any fiction ever written. The party platform is literally allegiance, not to the Constitution, not to America, but rather allegiance to a crime lord. Republicans have long since given up hope for winning a popular vote, but they're absolutely fallen in love with the idea of deleting our vote, of seizing power by force, of making their crimes the accepted norm, and all of them are falling in line, and it's a pathetic sight to see. Part of the reason it's so dysfunctional is because it's filled with professional politicians, people who put themselves and their interests. The Republican litmus test is loyalty to Trump. The Republican scorecard is ranked by how far they can ram their heads up Trump's backside and remember all their laughable talking points, how they were supposed to be staunch advocates of national security, how they all tremble at the thought of Big Brother. Well, Big Brother just took all of our national security secrets home to his bedroom. And I guess he felt the happy place where he and Jeffrey Epstein spent so many fond nights playing footsie constituted a secure place for our nation's secrets. Folks, this is utter insanity. Just look at this ad in the Republican Party's primary in Florida. This ad is actually attacking Matt Gates for not being enough of a Trump loyalist. Who would have thought such a thing would ever come to pass? But that's what we have. Republicans are crawling over one another like a sea of inbred rats, seeing who can be the most fascist, who can be Captain Anti-America. An endorsement from a traitor, from someone who led a coup against our own government, from someone who had committed felony offenses, from someone who spits on our Constitution, actively tries to destroy democracy and is an incompetent fool on top of all that should be the political death sentence. But apparently right-wing media can convince their audience of anything. It's very sad to see. People, you're better than that. Think about things for a minute. If you were told someone removed the highest level of national security documents to their personal residence without knowing their party affiliation, you'd be furious. But if it's a Republican, I guess all sins are forgiven. How far does it go? Because it's getting too cartoonish level right now. It couldn't possibly be more obvious that Donald Trump is a traitor, unlike we've seen in modern history. The horrible things he has done are unprecedented. If any other person had done half of the things he's done, they'd be wearing an orange jumpsuit with numbers on it at this very moment. But the reality is these people just love Trump because their media is telling them to, and it won't stop until that stops. That won't stop until the slime is behind bars. Meanwhile, our job is to hold the narrative. We can't let the right push the Overton window off a cliff. Common sense has come to, it's got to prevail. We've got to remind these people that our justice system does not determine innocence or guilt based on what your political party tells you. Those of us who have the aptitude to understand right from wrong must stand up now and speak the truth. And that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.